What's up, family? How you doing? What's your, up? It's your boy Trey Black. Hey, and Shay. <laughs> so look, we're sitting here. Uh, we were talking about our channel earlier today, telling some people about the channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Tell somebody earlier today that our channel is about family, how much fun we have, and honestly, like we just downright hilarious, and we're very talented as a family. Like our kids are funny. My son right now, he's the most talented kid we have until Lily grows up and shows off her talents. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and and we were telling some people, it's like, hey man, we gotta get home, get to bed, cause our son has to go to school tomorrow. And I remember one of my students was like, this to be your child go to daycare? I said, boy, no, nah, my child go to school. I pay That's tuition, right. mm. you know? So anywho, so we think about like, we're both teachers, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's not true. I am a teacher. I'm a teacher. I just teach teachers now. She a coach. You know, she's a coach here in Texas. We have you know, coaches that help to teach other teachers how to be great teachers. Yes. Uh, you know, when you in a district and you outscore your district two times in a row with some of the worst uh, well, I ain't gonna call them kids worse, I'm gonna say, but some of the lowest testing kids, then that's how you become the a coach. Next, what they call it, difficult. The difficult children. children, the ones who they just can't teach. <laughs> they say, you gotta put them in, put them in, put them in, put them in shade them. class and then they'll pass. But man, the state of education today, in my opinion, is like, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense sometimes with education. Like there, I, I think we're especially in Texas, we base everything off of tests. Yeah. And since we base everything off of a test, it's like, hmm, are we really doing what we need to do? Is it is it working? Like, what do you think about? It? It's hard for me because I come from Arkansas to here, and I've been in what four different districts. Four different districts and the uh, charter schools, so that's kind of like five. Yeah, one, two, yeah, because it's my fifth uh, experience, so I've seen a lot, and this is just my seventh year, and it's very disturbing. Of course, every place has pros and cons, yeah. Um, but now I'm just like, oh wow, this is what we do. Mm. Um, it seems like everything is about money. And that's with a lot of stuff in, in the world that everything seems to be about money. We don't care about kids. We act like we care about kids, but we really don't care it's about, about kids. It's about that bread. I'm going to be honest, though. I care about kids. I do. But I want my check. <clears throat> yeah. I want my check. Cut the check. And, and, and that's the thing I'm seeing is, you know, we, we don't want to do what it takes. To help these kids and yeah. to earn the check that we get, but we expect that check to hit on that day of the month that it's mm. supposed to hit. Because it do hit, Doc. So, check the person who is just going to sit at their desk and do nothing. Their check is hitting like the person who is busting their butt, working, working their tail off. Mm -hmm. And I was the latter. So, I go into coaching thinking that everybody else. Busting their butt. Mm -mm. I work like that, man. I'm like this. This, 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 this how, this how I feel. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna do my job to the best of my ability. My kids are gonna walk out of there feeling like they can take over the world when it comes down to music. They can take over the world when it comes down to everything that we do. I know for a fact that we're gonna make good scores with the world. I'm a high school band director, yeah. and we have fun. People are like, oh, they just want to be in your class. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't want to be in my class. They don't want to be in my class because, one, I'm going off from the time they hit the door to the time they go out. Because I teach bell to bell, baby. Bell to bell. I'm going to teach bell to bell. That's but, right. this is my, but this is my thing, though. Right? When you think about the art of teaching, you know what I'm saying? We always try to give you our steps. I think the number one step in the art of teaching, for real, I mean, I, I don't have my master's in the art of teaching like some people on here. But at the same time, I think the number one steps in the arts of teaching, you know, is being able to relate to the student. If you cannot relate to the kid or to the student or to your constituent, 
They're not gonna. They're not gonna allow you to teach them. They're not gonna allow you to educate them. And it's that's not gonna that's part of great classroom management. Hmm. Oh. I can't manage you if I don't get to know you. Right. You're not right. gonna allow me to. You know, I don't want to say take control of you because that sounds bad. Sound bad, but it's kind of true. And I'm gonna tell you like this: You walk in the class, <laughs> you act up. I'm gonna do this. Hey, 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 bro. Sit down. Or I can just give you that look. I can do this right here. And you get right. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's, that's just what it is. But it, I'm, Richard is mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but sometimes it all depends on where, where you are. Like, if some, some, I mean, one school district I was in, I wouldn't have to raise my voice like, man, hey, 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 bro, sit down. It was more like, hey, we're all sitting down. Some places, like, though, they're like, oh, you know, but some other places, though, you got to be able to bring out your inner self and say, hey, 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 sit down, boy. Don't get back up. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, you have Don't to have, that. that's the start. In order to teach the content, whatever your content is, whether it's music, whether it's English, whether it's math, whether it's science, whatever it is, you have to be able to have good management. Like, be organized, know exactly what you want to keep, like expectations, and follow through. And follow through. But then when I have that, I got to know how to teach the content. I was just going to say that. We talk about follow through and being able to try to uh, relate to the kid and everything else. Yeah. But this is the thing though. If you don't know the content, you can't teach. Yeah, because I'm just being real. That's the type of stuff that irritates. It, it's some I'm seeing now to where they have that piece, which is good because you need that piece in order to get to the content. You got to be able to manage. But then you get to where you have the kids in your hand, but you're not feeding them. Yeah, man, you got. They you need get, to eat. Hey, you know, they malnourished, but they they eat. So so, but it's not it's not healthy. For so you. so like me, I'm, I'm a I'm a percussion. I am a percussion guy by trade, but I am a I am a band director, right? Mm -hmm. That is, and then when it comes down to when I see like young band directors uh, going into like that 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 middle school age, it's tough because they let their percussionist sit in the back of the room. That's coming soon. Sit in the back of the room. And when they sit in the back of the room, what happens is those kids step back there like, man, what can I do with those black? What can we do with those kids back there? Bro, teach them, dog. They need to learn just the like the kids. Step right, right. The red headed <laughs> step children. They need to learn just like the other kids need to learn. Give them a flute part. Put it back there. Say, man, y'all play these mallets call of the day. When the tubas are, hey man, tubas, this is what we need. We need to make a big sound, go from there. And I think what happens is though. I know as a percussionist and as a band director where a kid needs to be from 6th to 7th grade. I know a kid from 7th to 8th grade. I know a kid all the way throughout the grades. I know where a kid needs to be, right? And I think no, I, you know me. Right? But the cool part is in my district, I create my own vertical alarm. It's like if I want to keep, you know what I'm saying? So they, they all roads lead back to me anyway, so it kind of works out great. But for some people, what they need to realize in the art of teaching is that that alignment has to happen from teacher to teacher. So that third grade to that fourth grade to that fifth That's grade. What we're and, out right, now. right. Some some teachers have issues of not knowing teaks. And when teachers don't know teaks, then that's when they mess up. You know what I'm saying? And so we got to know our teaks. We got to know our background. I just got to know what the student knows, what the student doesn't know. Got to know what the student knows in the background. Now. All these different things. There's so much goes on. And they're changing next year. I don't know about fine arts, but... Baby, I'm tell you, all we doing is getting ones, baby. Yeah. That's all we doing. But what I'm saying is, I think that that has to be on another. We talking about change, and we say what can be done as far as uh, helping to change the state of education. So, like, what, like, what do you think our first steps could be? I've been wrestling with this for how long? I've been at this shop. <laughs> really, really my whole career mm -hmm. but i didn't know it was as jacked up as now in this position i'm like oh wow so i don't know man i it's a lot of things that i, I feel like we have to be able to risk losing our jobs to say and do ooh, 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 ooh. wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> People ain't trying to lose that check, baby. The check but, is and that's the problem. Check nice. That's the problem. We have to be willing to say and do what needs to be said and done 
in order to help these kids because these kids are the future. So if you want your doctor to be a great doctor when you get older, and, you know, mm -hmm. and you got to go get checkups and you want your president, your next president or governor or mm -hmm. all these elected officials to be intelligent and actually have critical thinking skills. That's real. Like, we have to fight. We have to be the ones. And, yeah. and it starts with you. It's just like with voting, right? If I say, oh, right. uh, well, my vote doesn't count. Well, if a million of you say the same thing, yeah, 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 yeah. look we, at we that. Stuck. But this, and I, I, I say this though, like just to go along with that, is that when 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 it's time for us to to do our, to do our jobs, like even as young people that's thinking about going into education, like you have to take this education thing as a true profession. You know what I mean? You can't look at it like, oh, I just go in there and teach some kids. No, bro. You go in there, you create a lesson that's on fire and that's amazing. And when you get out, when, you, when these kids got out the class, they should feel like, man, what you just taught is going to change my entire life. That's what I got to like, say. Like, real talk. You know, like, just like. Just trying to change your life. Uh, hey. Hey. Just, just trying to change your life. life. Like, that, like that's, that's the guy's on the truth. That, that lesson. Uh -huh. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> that, that lesson should feel like. It should be like, man, this is going to change my life. And it has to be the type of lesson that is uh, uh, that's going to use high yield strategies. High yield strategies so basically that you can continue to move forward without having to be like, ah, I have to wait on that step. You need something that you can change like right then on the fly. Like, and then it's... you can apply to your life. Like the child needs to know mm -hmm. how can I use this. Right. And... If I can't use it right now, why is that? Are machines doing it? Like, what is it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I still need to know it because we never know what's gonna happen, you know? So just teaching the child how to apply it to life. Yeah, I, I, I think that that's, that's very, it's very important about applying this stuff to life. Make sure you understand it. Like with me being, like I said, I'm a specialist. So with me being a band, a band director, Sometimes people are like, oh, this stuff not going, mm -hmm. got this stuff is not going to uh, help me in my life, whatever case may be. But it's certain lessons though that you learn in band, certain disciplines that can help you. For example, like practicing every day, bro. Yeah. You got to study every day, and the Bible tells you to study, study every day. It tells you to meditate on the word. It tells you to right. do all these different things. You have to meditate on this music, dog. You're not gonna know it if you don't know it. You're gonna fail my class. <laughs> Straight up. If you think it's a game, try me. That's that's the thing. Like, we, if 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 a teacher goes at it like, hey, look, man, you have to learn this material. You learn this material like this, and you give them different practices. Then they, when they sitting there like, man, I can tackle each class using the same principle. When a kid can take something from your class and take it to the next class, take it to the next class, and take it to the next class, the one thing that they'll come back to you and say is, man, I wish you taught all my classes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's what it is. And but where that comes from, though, is understanding that teaching is not just a profession. It's a it's purpose. A it's a calling. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's a calling on your life. Like, if you ain't called to be a teacher, get out the game. Like, real talk. The check is not going to satisfy you. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, here in Texas, we got TRS, Teacher Retirement System. It's but what I'm saying Not is, right now, <laughs> but, but, hey, when we get old, it's gonna be nice. But what I'm saying is, like, if 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 you're not into the like like to understanding the fact that like being a teacher is a is a calling and a purpose right. on your life, there's no point in you trying to get in this profession because this profession is for people who truly want to be teachers, for people who truly are called by God to be teachers, like. It takes a special person to work with other people's kids. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just saying. And like, you have to go above and beyond all of that. And if you're not willing to go above and beyond in your job as a teacher, you shouldn't be a teacher. No, because we're advocates. Straight up. For, for these kids, for generations. Mm -hmm. You know, for the entire world, mm -hmm. like it, it's not just cliche. Like it's right. real. Nothing, you are. 
For some people, you they mama, you they daddy, you they sister, they brother, they cousin, they counselor, they everything. Because honestly, some of these kids ain't got nobody to talk to, and you the one that God put in front of them for you to talk to. But you're gonna come in there, and what it'll really tick you off. You come into the classroom, and the kid is depending on you to be all those things, you come in there unprepared. Yeah. Boy, let that sing. That, 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 that don't, it just doesn't make sense. If you truly care about the, the state of education, you truly care about the world getting better, you truly care about uh, 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 educating the future, you should come to, You should come to your job prepared. No matter if you're a teacher or not. Mm -hmm. But especially if you're a teacher, though, everybody that plays football is a teacher. Every time, every time I see a football player that go broke, I always wonder, where was this math teacher at? <laughs> All the time. Every time I see a football player who cannot speak in front of other people, where's this English and speech teacher at? You know what I'm saying? Probably at the end of that preposition, man. <laughs> you know, I keep up with <laughs> where they at, though? Where they at, though? But no, but I'll be honest. Where, where are those, like, what happened where that kid was like, man, I ain't got to learn math. I'm good. No, dog, you got to learn math because... If you're six foot seven in the fifth grade, you probably go into the league. You need to learn how to do this money. You need to do this money. Yeah. But, but I know people, you know, talk about how bad education is. I mean, we have been to uh, comedy shows. Oh, yeah. Uh, where people have blown up because thousands upon thousands of educators uh, agree with what is being said, which is cool. Uh, but. Like he has said, I think uh, several times, like we have to advocate. Like, Got to. We have to instead of complaining about the problems, we need to help to change and alleviate right. the problems that we see. Man, look, that's our education talk. I know, man, we love you all. You are our B fam. You are our fam. You are our viewers. We love you guys. We thank you so much for all the subscribers that we've had. Yes. We're looking forward to moving on to the next milestone. Make sure you be looking out for our next videos. You don't want to miss the next you one. You don't want to oh miss the next God. one. Guarantee you don't miss the next one. It's going to go crazy. So, Love you guys. Have a good day and have a great life in teaching. And make sure if you don't know, show this to everybody. Yes. If you're a teacher, you need to be able to make sure you show us every teacher. If you want to email us or something, so you want to email us or something, tell us, like, man, I need y'all to come talk to my teacher. I'll come talk to them. I'll tell them. If they sorry, I'll say, look, bro, I heard on the internet you were sorry. <laughs> but we can make you better. All right, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. This is your boy, Trey Black. Thanks, Trey. I'm going to holler at you, man. Have a great day. Yeah. People looking at me crazy when I tell them what we do. They tell us all the time, ain't no space for you and your crew. Never would have thought people running from this good news.